Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's second video in this series in the day of a life of a real estate agent. So in the previous video, we viewed four different types of terrace houses in a day. And in today's video, we're going to be viewing different types of corner and end lot houses. So for the corner house, we'll be viewing a single story corner house in Petaling Jaya and also a double story corner house in Petaling Jaya also. And then for the end lot houses, we'll be viewing a double story end lot house in Petaling Jaya and a double story end lot house which is newer in the Nai Alam. So before we continue with the viewing for the day, hit the like button below and subscribe to this channel. So the first house for the day is a single story corner terrace house. As a corner lot and with a land area of 42 by 75, making it 3150 square feet. So there's a lot of gardening space, space for cars to park inside and future extensions. As you can see, the house is in its original condition. So of course the living, dining and kitchen areas can be enlarged and the bedrooms can be extended outwards. Since it is a one-storey house, it can be extended outwards to become a two-storey house. So you can add more rooms in the house to increase its value and potential. Now to the second house for the day which is a double-storey corner terrace house. So today here we have this beautiful double-storey house. So unlike other corner houses with a green patch of garden, this house has a fish pond and water features. So this house sits on a free oak land and the built up measures 2,620. So come, let's take a look at this house. So the ground floor here has a land area of 1554 square feet. With a lot of space, there's a lot of space in the living hall and TV lounge area. Now let's go to the study room. Going back to the living hall, because it was extended, so you have more space to play around and you can host more than 10 guests at a time in the living area. Then in the TV area, you can put a piano, extra TV or display cabinet and stuff here. Then the staircase acts as a sound barrier between the living and dining areas. So the dining hall is equally spacious where you can sit and entertain 8 guests or more at a time. Then the kitchen has a wet and dry section. As we see here, the kitchen is fitted, fully equipped and has adequate space for the necessary kitchen appliances. And next to the kitchen is a guest or maid's room with an attached bathroom. Now let's go upstairs. Upstairs here, there are three bedrooms. The family hall is quite spacious because you can fit in a four-seater sofa set and more furniture. Then like most houses, the two rooms upstairs share a common bathroom.
the rooms are big enough to fit in a queen size or super single bed. So now let's go to the master room. The master room is cozy enough to fit in a queen or king size bed and then there's an attached bathroom and walk-in wardrobe area in this master bedroom. Now on to the third house for the day which is a double story and lot house. So this house is still in its original condition like the first corner house that we saw earlier. This house has a land area of 18 by 68 with extra 5 feet of land at the side. Since the house is original, the backyard can still be extended and the side garden covered with some sort of extension or awning on top. The floorings in the house are quite unique. The living and dining hall here are with marble flooring. Then the bedroom, bathroom and kitchen downstairs here are with medium sized tile flooring. So the bedroom downstairs, I like it that it has a pink floor tiles and the room has an attached bathroom. In the bathroom here, a separate door can be made at the side there to share or make a dual access with the kitchen. Then the kitchen, it has a wet and dry section. The kitchen can be extended further back or made into an open concept kitchen all the way from the front to the back. Now upstairs here with three bedrooms, on the right is the master room. The master room has a master bathroom with a shower area. So this house still maintains the original parquet flooring. This room and the room next door share a common bathroom at the back there. And the rooms have enough space to fit in a single, super single or queen size bed and study or work desk. Now we're going to the fourth and last house for the day which is a, another double story and lot house. So this house is freehold, it faces the east direction and it has a land area of 30 by 69 feet and a built up of about 2710 square feet and it has 4 bedrooms and 1 maid's room and 5 bathrooms. So there's 1 bedroom and the storeroom and the extra bathroom downstairs and the remaining 3 bedrooms upstairs. All the bedrooms come with attached bathroom. So let's check out the house. So from the living, dining and wet kitchen area, it has a very wide frontage and also because it's an end lot and it faces east, there's a lot of natural lighting and sunlight coming in. And then let's go to the wet kitchen and the yard. On the left here is the storeroom which you can convert into a utility room or maid's room. And then here is the built-in kitchen cabinets with oven, hood and hob and place for the fridge. And then here we can put a washing machine and then this is the common bathroom at the back with a shower area. Now let's go upstairs where there are three bedrooms. So the room on the left here, there's an attached bathroom with a shower area. This room has an L-shaped window which allows in more natural lighting. And you can put in a single or queen bed and study table. And then there's the built-in wardrobe here. Then the master bedroom here is very long with a very wide window that faces the porch and then there's a lot of space to put in a big bed and study table and then the master bathroom comes with a shower area and this bathroom and all the bathrooms are fully tarped from floor to ceiling. And then this third bedroom is the mirror image of the second bedroom earlier with an attached bathroom. And the bedroom is spacious to put in a queen or single bed and also a study table. And finally the family area here is a very long family area. We can do a study area in the front. Now let's go down to the last and fourth bedroom on the right here. So the bedroom is very spacious to put in a single or queen bed and the wardrobe here. And it also comes with its own attached bathroom with shower. Now let's go out back into the porch area. So the porch area here, there's a small garden on the left. And then you can park two cars. And then because it's an end lot unit, it has an extra 14 feet of land. 
and then at the back here is the backyard and terrace area which you can access from the back kitchen and fourth bedroom. And then because there's a lot of extra land, you can extend the house some more. You can extend the living and dining area and kitchen. And also the master bedroom if you want to extend the house some more. So that's how it's like a day in the life of an agent taking clients who only want to view end lot and corner houses. So corner houses and end lot houses play their different roles in real estate. So corner houses, if you notice along the roads, they are either ends of the roads and then in the middle of the road, you notice there are houses, two houses here, they are known as end lots. So end lots, they are somewhat in between intermediate and corner houses. So end lot houses, they are like intermediate house, but they have extra feet of land. So the extra feet of land can range from as little as like 5 feet to 10 feet or 15 feet of land. So with that extra space, you have more green space for your garden or you can do an awning at the kitchen area or do a makeshift temporary covering to extend the backyard. Then for corner houses, because of the additional and available space and land around the house, like the single story house or a double story house that is not renovated and that is basic, you can extend the living and dining area and the kitchen and then also upstairs once you have extended the ground floor with that structure and support, you can also extend the upstairs. So for clients who are looking for end lot or corner houses, it's either probably because they are looking to upgrade from an intermediate to a bigger size property. Maybe if they have a growing family or maybe they have an elderly family member so they need a room downstairs and some space in the garden for them to walk around and to enjoy the nature. And then upstairs is where the younger family members get to stay. And of course, compared to intermediate houses, end lot houses and corner houses, they both have their values and potential, which I'll probably cover in future videos. So thanks for following me in this second day in the life of a real estate agent viewing different types of properties. So hit the like button and subscribe to this channel below to stay tuned for more in this series, A Day in the Life of a Real Estate Agent.